Hi guys, I'm Nicola McKenzie, founder and mortgage advisor at DM Mortgages. And in today's video, you're probably wondering from the title what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about, can I get a mortgage if, and I'm gonna finish that sentence with a variety of different scenarios to give you guys a bit of a deeper understanding on how mortgage lender criteria varies and how it works. Stay tuned. Now guys, before we get into the detail, we are a team here at DM Mortgages of property and mortgage specialists. So we help many thousands of clients to remortgage, buy property, um, invest in property, and help them with their mortgage options and guide them through the house buying process. So if that's you and you need to look at your mortgage or remortgage options, then make sure that you head over to our website, dm.mortgage, and book in for a free of charge appointment today. Now I've put this video together, it's been inspired by countless inquiries, I guess you could say, from many people to ask if they can get a mortgage. Now the point is to give you guys a general idea on how mortgage lenders assess applicants. And one thing I need you to understand is it's not black or white, there are many greys when it comes to mortgage lender criteria. And one thing that I really want to stress is that every lender and every bank has a completely different view of every single scenario. And that's really what I wanted to give you an insight of in today's video. And when people ask me that question, can I get a mortgage if, my response usually is, possibly. The point of the word possibly is because it depends on a full detailed assessment of your circumstances. It's very difficult to answer categorically if you cannot, cannot, or can or cannot get a mortgage even based on one piece of information. It's about the bigger picture. So my point here is guys, at the end of this video, this should give you a deeper understanding, but make sure that you book in for a one-on-one -on -one appointment that's free of charge so that we can assess your circumstances in more detail and help to reduce the chance of you being rejected for your mortgage because you've not gone with the best lender for your circumstances. So let's look at some common scenarios. Can you potentially get a mortgage if you have been at your employer less than six months? Yes. You have one year self-employed accounts? Yes. You've had a CCJ, a default, or historically even you've been bankrupt? Yes. You've not even started a new job, but you've got a future contract? Yes. You're a foreign national? Yes. You're a contract worker? Yes. You're a first time buyer and a first time landlord? Yes. Let's say that you are using a gifted deposit? Yes, you can get a mortgage. Now, going back to my initial introduction to all of those examples, the key word that I mentioned there is potentially. So let's look at some of those examples in more detail because yes, potentially you could get a mortgage in any one of those scenarios, but it depends on the detail around it and the lender that you apply to. So let's look in more detail at exactly what I mean. Now, all of the above, like I said, are potentially a yes, but just depends on the circumstances around that point. So using the example I mentioned with gifted deposits, that's okay, depending who the gift is from and who the lender is. There are more common examples that I can give. There's loads of examples I could give you, but if you fall into any of the above and you're wondering if based on your circumstances, then you can get a mortgage, then you need to understand that it is the circumstances around that hurdle that's going to determine if you can or cannot get a mortgage. Also, how many of those hurdles you have in your situation will also make a difference too. So if you have one or two of those things in your situation, again, depending on the circumstances around it, that's going to make things easier than if you had all of those things in your situation, if that makes sense. So the more hurdles you have combined as an individual, so as an example, if you've been bankrupt, you're a contract worker, you've only been in your contract a week, you know, you've had um, loads of CCJs, 
you are a foreign national that's been in the UK for only six months, those things combined are going to make it extremely difficult, if not near impossible. So that's the point here. And guys, without knowledge and expertise, don't make any assumptions. Don't assume I can't get a mortgage. You need an assessment to understand what is and isn't possible because we are the experts with the knowledge around lender criteria. But now let's look at a few of those examples in even more detail, just so that you can really get your head around the points that I'm making. So now let's look at the first of a couple of examples. So let's assume that you've been in your job for less than six months. Every lender is going to vary in terms of how they view this. And again, that's the point of why you come to us for advice. So don't get caught up by the lender criteria. That's our job to sift through the options and help you with it. Now, let's look at an example. So time in continuous employment or time in current employment. So as you can see guys, all of these lenders vary in terms of how they'll view it. So we've got one option at the top, there is no minimum time in current employment. Again, no minimum time. The next lender, six months in their current position they expect. The lender after that, no minimum in current, but must be able to demonstrate a minimum of three months continuous record of employment. Six months and no probationary period. All of the lenders vary, as you can see. So again, this really highlights the point that it's really important to get independent advice from us because we've got all of these banks at our disposal. So even though you may not fall into one bank's category, you might fall into many others. It's also a point worth mentioning as well that it doesn't mean that because you've not been in your job for six months and some of the lenders, very few, but some of them will require you to have done that. Um, let's say that you decide to wait six until you've been in your job six months. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're putting yourself in a better position by doing that. Because let me explain, the option here at the top that said no minimum time in current employment, they could also be the most competitive option for you anyway or one of many competitive options that you would be eligible for even though you've not been in your job six months so again you need to check this detail out again with us as professionals now let's look at another example so let's assume that you are a foreign national there's a very common scenario that we get all the time and we manage to help many people in that situation but again i want you to understand that many banks will differ with this so let's take a quick look so a few examples so we've got a lender here at the top that will accept foreign nationals but if the applicant does not have indefinite leave to remain then they will restrict the loan to value to 75 percent so in other words you'd need a 25 percent deposit with that lender the next one is a yes we've got another yes Another yes, but the applicant must have two years residency in the UK and two years bank records. Um, another one that's a yes. Another one, yes, but only if they've resided in the UK for the past two years and have permanent rights to reside. Yes, with indefinite leave to remain. Yes, no stipulation. Yes, but again, three years address history showing two years continuous UK residency. Again, I could go on and on and on. Um, another one, non-UK, EU, EEA res nationals that can be considered. It goes on, they all vary. So again, you understand my point. If you are here, on a visa, if you live in the UK on a visa, you don't have indefinite leave to remain, you're not a British citizen, there are options there for you. What those options are will depend on your circumstances and the specifics around how long you've lived in the UK, how long's left on your visa, as well as other factors. So now let's look at another common example. And this is if you were a contract worker, again, one of many common examples of clients that we managed to help to get a mortgage. So yes, you can get a mortgage potentially if you are a contract worker, who the lender is the best lender for you um, and how um, possible that is will depend on the specifics around your contract work. So let's take a quick look. 
So again, we can see a massive variation in how the banks will view this. So we've got one here accepted, but generally you need a minimum of 12 months in contracting roles. We've got a yes from the next lender. Another yes, we'll consider contract workers, but typically for this bank, you need a minimum of 50K per annum and a minimum of 12 months of contracting history. Um, we've got another one here. Yes, affordability worked out by hourly rate times five days times 52 weeks. Another yes, but you need at least 12 months of the contract remaining or where less than 12 months of the contract is remaining, a minimum original length of 12 months to the contract. Um, what else have we got? One here, yes, if you've been contracting over three years. Another one, yes, but only if there's, there must be a minimum of three months less left on the contract. Less than three months, then possibly they'll accept you, subject to 12 months history of you been contracting in the same industry. And this bank would also want written confirmation from the employer that your contract will be renewed for a further three months before completion. So again, guys, and the list goes on and on and on. I could read out every single different criteria but i think that would start to make for a bit of a boring video i wanted to keep it short and snappy just so that you can really see just a few examples of how based on each individual scenario the banks can basically do what they want to do every bank can make their own rules and regulations on who within reason because obviously they're regulated but ultimately they all have different risk profiles where one is traditionally appealing to higher risk customers the next bank might not so they're all different and now you can see that if you were a contract worker and a foreign national and the earlier example had been in your job less than six months those three things combined might make it more challenging um, but those things individually the answer is yes you could get a mortgage but then again depending on the circumstances of your contract work will mean that's where we come in and help you to navigate because we know which lenders are better with contract workers than others and that's where we can really help you so guys the bottom line is can you get a mortgage if you fall into any of those scenarios plus many more well, you need to go to our website and book in for an appointment so that we can look at the detail around your situation and help you navigate through all of the complex lender criteria to find the best lender for your circumstances. So head over to dm.mortgage and book in for a free of charge appointment today. As you can see, we are independent, so we deal with lots of high street banks to specialist lenders, um, to help you find the best deal for your circumstances. I hope that that video has given you an insight into mortgages a little bit more. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me and I'll see you soon.